Hello, everybody. I was just sitting in my car this morning before I went to town. I had just watched the news, and um, they were having, or they were going to have the hearing of the three automakers in Washington, the second go-around when they drove their hybrid uh, automobiles. I don't know what the final outcome of that will be, but the general situation that we're in in our country was making me reflect back on some of the things that I can remember growing up. I was born in 1938. I've said that before in other videos. My family used to talk about the Great Depression. And I've heard a lot of people lately say that uh, that we could have some times again that would uh, equal or sur surpass the depression. It'll be a different depression. Uh, back uh, in the other depression, we didn't have uh, television, uh, the internet, so whatever the changes that would bring in a depression is yet to be seen. But just thinking about those things made me reflect back on some of the things that I can remember. I used to uh, go to the golf course, which was about two miles from where I lived. I must have been about ten years old at the time. And all the boys in the neighborhood would uh, walk up there. We'd get up early in the morning, especially if they were having a tournament at the golf course. And we'd go up there to caddy. That was before they had uh, golf carts. And if a golfer was going to uh, not hire a caddy, he had to carry his own bags. So we would stand there around that uh, big oak tree and... Uh, the golfers would come out on the back porch of uh, the clubhouse and uh, choose one of us guys to caddy. If we could uh, do 18 holes, we could make a dollar. A round was nine holes, and they paid 50 cents a round. So we could work all day and make a dollar. On the way home, there was a little grocery store that we would always stop at. And I can remember buying a pack of Viceroy cigarettes. Yes, at 10 years old, I smoked. In fact, everybody smoked then. I, all the kids either smoked or chewed tobacco. I think a, a package of Viceroy's were 18 cents a pack. Maybe 25 cents. I can't really remember. You could buy a Pepsi-Cola or a Coca-Cola for 5 cents. In the front of my house, the road was not paved. And in the summertime, when it was hot and dusty, I can remember a truck coming up that road, dumping oil on the road to keep the dust down. And I have thought in the past years, or I have thought recently, that that oil probably was contaminated with PCBs. Another thing, they used to have these mercury switches. I don't know if you're familiar with a mercury switch, but uh, the connection was made by mercury when you flipped the switch. Kids would get those mercury switches and break them open, and you could rub that mercury on a dime, and that dime would shine. I mean, it would just shine like it was just minted. And I can remember seeing kids put those uh, dimes in their mouths. My dad, I don't know, he either was uh, a prophet <laughs> or... Well, he was, a, he was a pretty smart guy. And uh, when they would uh, pour the oil on the, the road, he would tell me to never. He said, don't you ever be in that oil. 
and don't ever fool with any of that mercury. So I figured, well, you know, he's he's preventing me from having fun. But uh, he knew what he was talking about. And I've wondered to this day if some of those kids, and surprisingly, some of those uh, guys who I grew up with are deceased. I don't know if that was a result of playing with mercury or or playing in the oil on that road or, or what. But you think about those things. And that's what I was thinking about this morning. Before I went over town, well, that's a little bit of rambling from an old guy. Hope you wasn't too bored with it. We'll see you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.